Hello, Assalamualaikum. My name is Manali, and you are watching Learn It. In our third lecture, we have made simple circuit. You see it here. We have study what is counter, what is seven segment display, and what is clock. We study all first. Then we made a simple circuit. Just click plus plus say and delete. We start with this training first. We go to input. We see here it is showing counter. We click on the counter and place it here. Now I zoom in. You see it here. First we point in that point and we go anti-clockwise and see what the point is coming in our next. First that point is showing clock. It's when we have to connect clock here or we have to input 0 1 values 0 or 1 or 1 0 here to change the output of the counter here you see the set button here when the reset button is on the counter reset its value and point it to 0 then the start again it is the reset button here you see 0 when the input of 0 is high then the output of the counter is always 0 it's showing the 0 then here you see a value which is uh, also the output of the counter. Here you see a max value which is the max value. If the counter cannot uh, increase its value uh, greater than max. Max value is a value which break the counter uh, or break the value go to the counter. When it break it, counter cannot go further values just then now we study counter we also see the help of the counter in user manual we study it you want to study our intuition knowledge just open the user manual and type it here counter here you see counter click on the it and it's showing all the point max value is the max value that the counter will reach input clock you see it is clock zero it is high and the counter shows zero and values output of the counter is finding and you see it here it's showing all that high value and you want to also see it here it's showing that now we next go to our second element which is in sequential element go here and we you see it here in the clock we click on the clock and point it here now you, what is clock clock is a device which always pointing zero one one zero one zero one zero it's what is is increasing the value and then decrease increase decrease increase decrease just i show you here you have we study flag here in the our previous lecture. We point it here and connect the flag to the clock to show the behavior of the clock. Just connect it. If you see it here, it's showing one zero one zero. Then we click on the timing diagram. You see it here. It's showing up value. So I let me increase the value here. It's showing. You see up and down, up and down. It means the clock changing is value in every instant we have to point it here and minimize it you when you click on the clock and open the properties here is the properties label and then click on here on the screen screen then you see it here it is a showing clock timing it's millisecond when it's showing 50 it is a also is equal to 0 0.5 second we have to point it here and decrease it and one zero zero which is thousand which is equal to one second it means in every second clock change this interval it's high then it's low then low then high then high and low in that way it's showing it's changing its values we you see it here is we change the clock timing that decreases decreases delete our flag 
I tell you in previous circuit, press shift, then double click to select the area which we want to select. You select it in that, then delete. Now, our next element is in output. You see it here, seven segment display. You see, you press it here. And we also study hexa display. We place it here. We first study seven segment display. In to see there is a points, two points here, two here, two here, and two here. First that point, I study with that point. First, I point it here, eight points inputs to show the work. Yeah. Copy and paste. You see here now our four points like that. I see now. You see it here. I minimize it. First point I connect. You have to little bit focus how I connecting the point. First I connect first point to that point. First I point all zeros, then I point it, label them to show you how it works. Wait, label them first two, three, four, then five, then six. Then seven and then eight. Now we label them. Now we have to just find zero. Now you see how I connecting the points. First point to that one. You see it here. Second point to the right of them that one. Now third point go. Here, up direction and point it here. Here and connect. Miss that one. You don't have to connect that point. Then go to that one. Then go to next of them. Just that one. You have to little bit focus how I'm connecting all the points to show you how they work. Then, then upper right point, you have to connect the upper right point here. It is a little bit changing the sequence here. I also show you then that one and also that point to point it, which we skip here that one. Now, first point, you see it here, first point is connecting here, first point, then second point connecting here, clockwise, I'm moving clockwise, third point is going there and connecting, missing that one, then connecting that one, then fourth point going here and connecting that one, just going clockwise, then five point, then here on the upper side, we have to just first connecting which is in the center one, then that one, then that one, then eight point is connecting on that one. Now, first point is here, you see, when the, we increase our first point here, you see it here, the upper line is, LED is on. Now, when we increase our second point, you see our right upper line is on. Now, turn it off that on, then you see our right lower LED light is on. Then which line is on? Tell me. Yes. Our lower line is on. Now, what is line is on? Our left lower line is on. Then you see our right left upper line is on. 
then which is missing our middle line which is here you see it's just here our middle line you see it here you see we are moving clockwise upper line upper right line then lower right line lower line lower left line upper left line then middle one then what's that point that when we increase or high our eight point if you see it here is the led light here which we turn it on when the eight point is gone you see it here how it's working now you see the digital led lights or you see the calculator which are showing some displays on when we choose our display it's just same it's showing that seven segment display now we have to write here some numbers which we want to show we just first point it go to zero then one then two then three in that way we all here point it here all the values we write here 16 digits 0 to 15 or we also hexadecimal numbers because its name is hexa display you see it here we show you you here when we okay seven segment display hexa display is just that one it is seven segment display which also show the hexadecimal numbers now we first write zero upper line you see it here upper right line lower right line lower line lower left line and upper left line you see it here is showing zero now we have to decrease all of them now we have to input one then we need that line and that line just point it one one is showing one now we need two upper line that one that one that one and that one upper line upper right line middle one we need middle one which is on seven point middle one then missing that one increase that point that one and we don't need that light which is on three we have to increase four you see it here it is two now decrease all of them you have to point three upper line upper right line lower right line lower line now we need middle line which is on seven increase seven in that way you are now focusing and you're seeing what is going on now we need we need have to write four we don't need upper line now we need four we need that one and that one first two three first that one now we need middle line which is on seven that one now we need that line which is just behind of the middle line you see it here four you see now five have to write five you see it here five now i did a bit go faster to show you six six and seven then eight eight for we all have to increase all the points eight now nine between nine for 10 we have to just write a here we just decrease that one no not that one that one and we have to increase our that one you see it here which is equal a which is equal to 10 i show you here just here the alphabets which is you see it here a b c number here you see zero i zoom in and show you here you see it here zero zero one one when we point it 10 which is equal to a 
point is 11 which is equal to b point 12 c 13 d 14 e 15 f here you see it here in the it is decimal and is equal to hexadecimal now this is code which we use in our next lab just come back to our circuit here a then b we have to type b we type here small b because we have not need a confusion here that one this upper line eight upper line and that one is showing b here which is equal to 11. we don't type here large big b because we don't want to confuse when it show big b is also equal to eight i show you here it's showing b and it's also equal to eight now we have to type it here small b you see it here now we type c on our display you see it here c it's small c you also type small c or large one this you see is that one that one and type that one is also equal to c both c's are just same now e we have to type e we type big e or small e in our requirements type that one in that way which is small e or we type that e which is large e then f just that one is showing f you see all the numbers which are just using in our display how is what is showing the display and our display is moving that way now if we save it here just point it here now we choose our hexa display hexa display just work on the binary form of the hexa display we just have to point it here input input here and increase the bandwidth of the input how hexadecimal we say 0.4 is to work on the four orientation is done here you see it here now we connect it to our work here just connect it is showing zero when the bits we enter binary code of the hexad as well is showing that way we don't need a big circuit here which we using in the seven second display hexad display is just a small one we just point it here it's just small which we choose now we're pointing one here is one then two then three then four then four then five then six seven eight eight nine a b in that way c d e and f if we have just a small number which you choose here do you see it is a big circuit here which is showing the hexadecimal number and you see on the right it is a small circuit you just have to enter the binary value of hexadecimal and it's showing the result you have to choose which is good now we place it here now we just have to little bit modify our circuit we just input here We call our counter, which we choose in our previous circuit. I study, we studied. Now, sequential element, take clock, take input here, take button. Now, just delete our. I show you how clocks work here and uh, just delete it we don't need it now yeah 
connect the reset button here you see reset button to the button connect clock to the clock then max value to the max value increase max value to the four bandwidth of four we have to need four values now connect and we have to increase bandwidth of the bandwidth you see it here we have to be four then connect that one to our seven segment display you see it here now connect output we want to show you the result we have to point the bandwidth of the output also four because it's the bandwidth of the counter is four here just here you see it here it is showing zero here which is a max value its max value is zero it's the point is zero here you just counter then it now we increase our max value point is one now the max value is one the counter goes to one and not increases value to one now we want to increase all it and point f here the now we reset it now counter is showing its result output here and here this is a bit disconnected now it is the output of the counter hexadecimal number hexadecimal number to the binary and here is the hexadecimal display now its counter going is increasing value one by one when the clock input is high and low here you see the binary binary value is changing and the hexadecimal value is also changing now you see the work of the counter here connect it now you see it's increasing 0 1 1 0 and you see here it's also increasing points here is a band binary value here is the hexa display you see it here how it's working and thank you for this lecture and we met again